Do you call your home the headquarters? Do I call my home the headquarters? No. I call my home the home. Mary calls our home our home. And sometimes we have other words for our home, perhaps. <laughs> but certainly not the headquarters. The, the whole headquarters accusation comes from the Channel 7 film crew who stayed with us at our home. And they then called our home that they stayed in, the headquarters, it's just so that they could gain some kind of media uh, outrage about what we're doing, uh, along with a lot of other lies that they told at the time. They also said there were hi hidden cameras at our seminars when actually we have photographs in our seminars and video in our seminars of the cameras that were meant to have been hidden. So, you know, they lied so much during these reports and they lied mostly because they knew they'd probably get away with it with me and I probably wouldn't attack them or take them to court. And because they knew that, um, they then decided to lie as much as they wanted to and they know they're probably going to get away with it until somebody comes along and watches this kind of frequently asked question presentation that, uh, where we can actually say the truth to them about what actually happened. But unfortunately, most people listen to the media, believe that they're telling the truth, and then don't assume that there is other inf information available that would indicate that the media has lied. In this case, the media has lied consistently over and over and over again, constantly, and still continues to do so. And, and yet most people do not even consider questioning them. And I find that quite concerning. The fact that media can lie so much and have no self-regulation about the lies. The so-called code of practice here in Australia is a farce because the media can lie so much and get away with it and nobody addresses it whatsoever. This is the reason why we do our own presentations because you cannot trust anything that the media says to you, in my opinion. And nowadays we find it very, very difficult to trust anything the media says as a result of how the media has treated us. Because if the media has treated us this way, we have to question how the media is treating every person that they ever interview and how the media is falsifying everything that seems to occur or at least putting it out of harmony with truth. I'm sure there must be some people in the media who have ethics, but I personally have yet to meet one of them. Hmm.